What's going on guys? We are back with another pop report update. This is going to be uh, update number 41 going over February 28th through March 6th. So we will go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, it's going to be first one up will be PSA. Uh, PSA led by basketball this week graded a total of 46,263 uh, basketball. Baseball was 44,000 808 and then TCG with 42,000 football with 25,000 and soccer with 5,000 for the week uh, PSA graded a total of 174,023 cards this week uh, which is a uh, increase from from last week of right over 2,000 cards so uh, they continue to you know continue to uh, great at uh, volume so um good for them right so right now their total count on their pop report all time is nearing uh 40 million cards on their pop report so so there's psa we're gonna move on uh also i just want to note uh i changed up the format this week uh going forward i changed up the format because uh, what I do is I take screenshots of my spreadsheet here, and then I post these in uh, several different uh, Facebook groups. So if you ever see these screenshots in a Facebook group, uh, primarily in the respective uh, grading company uh, Facebook group, of course, PSA doesn't have one, um, but... Uh, they have uh, like uh, HGA and uh, CSG have their own uh, grading uh, or you know their own Facebook group so I posted in those groups and then several other groups so in case you ever see them um, you know that's me so moving on to CSG CSG graded a total of 11,403 this week which is a significant drop off from their 29,173 from last week um, of uh, over 18,000 so um, what happened here uh, my only speculation, my only theory is that uh, from what I have gathered from several uh, podcasts and uh, Facebook groups and postings and all that was CSG was very active in, was it, I believe it was the Atlanta card show was this last weekend. So I don't know if they had grading on site there or not. So that may be, maybe have been the... Uh, uh, why there was a significant dip in CSG this week uh, is that you know they they moved all their stuff down to the card show to get uh, to get graded. Um, also, I also want to mention CSG released a uh, announcement this week that they are all caught up on their backlog, I believe. And so their bulk submissions right now, uh, or I believe they're like under 30 days or under 45 days or something like that. So that's real good for CSG. Um, I know I've done a few sub submissions through CSG and I really love their slabs. Um, their label, uh, until you get one in hand, it's uh, it doesn't do it any justice right when you see in pictures the the label just doesn't look very uh great but when you get in in hand and you look at the label it's not that bad uh, but of course they are looking at um updating their la label as well so um uh, you know definitely keep an eye on csg i think they are gonna be making some some moves this year moving on to peer graded x uh, Peer Graded X did not update their pop report this week, so they stayed at 5,000. I mean, yeah, 5,610 on their pop report. Uh, moving on to HGA, HGA uh, graded a total of 6,411, 441 this week, 
which is an increase of over 1,200 from prior week, uh, bringing their total on, the, on their POP report to 254,372 cards. So it's always good to see an increase uh, week over week for HGA as they continue to um, uh, knock out their, their backlog. I, I believe uh, HGA backlog right now it's sitting around, uh, I believe they say around like 50 or 60,000 cards. So, um, and they did uh, start their uh, limit, their weekly limit uh, sub submissions again on their um, on their uh, website. So, I believe they set the limit at 3,500 cards per week to be submitted. So, uh, if they're grading 6,500, they're lim limiting themselves to 3,500. It puts you know, simple math. I mean, they're you know, three thousand cards uh, into their backlog is what they're not knocking out. And if they have sixty thousand cards, then you're looking at about twenty weeks out to be fully uh, completed uh, with their update. So we'll continue to monitor HGA and see where it goes. Moving on to FCG. FCG did not update their uh, database this week, so. They continue to have 11,300 in their database. So we will continue to mo monitor them and then uh, see where they go. Uh, uh, TGT, same with them. They did not update their database. So they uh, stay put at 2,507 on their pop report. DGA, Dynamic Grading Authority, uh, they graded a total of 411, I mean, 481 this week, uh, bringing their total on their POP report to 11,622, uh, which is a change, uh, you know, uh, 18 cards from prior week, you know, week over week. So not too bad for DGA. Uh, I think I'm very impressed that they continue to update their POP report and continue to um, uh, be steady on their uh, weekly counts, uh, they, you know, they've been in that mid 400, uh, you know, that 450 to 475 range for as long as I've been tracking them. So for a few weeks now, at least, right? So pretty good, pretty good. Uh, moving on to the the grading authority, TGA. Uh, they did not update their pop report this week, so they stayed at 21,959 this week. So, we will continue to uh, monitor how they're doing. Uh, moving on to COMC, COMC. Uh, the reason I, I track these, uh, in case anyone is not aware, is that I track COMC and my slabs is so that I can uh, visually see if there's been any shift or any uh, behavior trends right on the uh, platform, right? So like if we see that there's a steady decrease week over week, you know, then uh, then it's going to build smoke, right? And eventually smoke turns into fire, right? So uh, before uh, people will start to lose out and people before we do all that, I, I want to see if we can, uh, uh, you know, note all these uh, these trends before all that happens. So, come see uh, this week when I took the snapshot, they had a total of 5,289,142 cards for sale on their platform, which is an increase of over 10,000 from last week. Um, here is what uh, here is the weekly total count that I'm tracking here. So you can see when I started the count back on February 13th, uh, I had 5,287,215. And the latest uh, count I did on March 6th was 5,289,142. So they're going up and down from week over week but what we want to see is that the total count on their platform either stays steady or increases so there's a for the most part it's been pretty steady with a very slight increase so i think uh comp c for now is pretty healthy right 
uh, going moving on to my slab same uh, concept here uh, what I did here was I gathered and I captured their uh, cards they have for sale on their website um, and here we are so the total number of graded cards is 102,558 and then the total of raw cards was 3,623 and their raw card lots was 432 so for the week uh, for the graded for the week uh, you know mind you I only started tracking this this week so uh, for the graded it went down a little bit by 414 and then the raw went up 474 so you know for the most part they you know they're kind of steady at this point um, but you know what I'd like to see is that uh, because uh, this tracking has only started recently uh, we should see a better picture when we're you know several weeks out several months out then we can start to get a better picture of how ComC and my slabs are doing so that way in case if you're interested in using any of these two my slabs or ComC then it should give you a pretty good idea on um, you know what's going on there so but that does it guys for this week thank you very much i do apologize it's running a few minutes behind this week i had a lot of to cover this week and i hopefully um you guys like the new setup um uh, hopefully someday i could uh you know learn how to use a program so that that way the uh the information's a little bit more clearer and not being uh, transmitted from my phone directly onto a uh, computer monitor, which, you know, but I've said over and over, this is a low budget channel, very rustic. So there is that, but that's it guys for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, be safe out there and talk to you later. Bye.